All right, guys, let's go ahead and head on over to pj 64 mucom The link to this page will be in the description below. Once you're here, go ahead and click on download here and your download should start. Once your download is done, you're going to get a setup file. Go ahead and open it. Welcome to Project 64 Setup Wizard. Next, go ahead and choose wherever you would like Project 64 to be installed. Go ahead and hit browse and select if you want to install this emulator on an SSD or an external hard drive, wherever you would like. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on my C drive on my desktop for recording purposes only. Next, I'm going to go ahead and leave create a desktop icon checked. Next. And we are finished. Make sure launch project 64 is checked. Click finish and the emulator will launch. Go ahead and select your language. In my case it's English. Under game directory, click on the three little dots and go ahead and locate wherever you have your N64 ROMs stored on your PC. In my case, I keep mine on an external hard drive. Select that folder and hit OK. And for the video plugin, I'm going to select for modern PC. OK. Now we are in the emulator and as you can see, all of my games have been loaded in. Now the first thing we're going to do is go up to options, graphic settings. Under video, we're going to change the full screen resolution to whatever your monitor is. In my case, mine is 1920 by 1080. For the windowed resolution, you can choose whatever you like. I'm going to do 1440 by 1080. For the aspect ratio, you can change this if you would like. I'm going to leave it at 4 by 3 the way N64 games were made with the black bars on the side. But if you would like to go full screen, you can change this to 16 by 9 which will be full screen but it may look a little stretched. And let's go ahead and enable V-Sync so we don't get any screen tearing. Under filtering, the anisotropic filtering, we're going to turn this all the way up to 16 times. Now go ahead and hit save and close. Now let's set up our controller. Let's go up to options, input settings. Now I'm going to be using an Xbox One controller with this emulator. Any wired controller will work as well. Now when you're ready to set your controller up, if you're using a Bluetooth controller as I am, just make sure you have a connection with your PC before opening the emulator and this emulator will automatically detect that controller. So in my case, my controller is already detected. All I have to do is hit setup and it's going to light up blue whatever button is ready to be emulated. So right now I would just hit the up button on my Xbox One controller. Now it wants down, left, right. Now for my analog stick, I'll push it up, down, left, right. For my C buttons, my up will be Y, my down will be A, my left will be X, and my right will be B. For my B and A, I'm going to use my side triggers, start, Z trigger, left trigger, and right trigger. Once you are finished and you're happy with everything, go ahead and hit apply. And then OK. Now we are ready to load up a game. Just find a game on your game list, click it and the game should start. And if you would like to go full screen, go up to options, full screen. 